the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 296, Luke 1 to 2. Passover at 12 years old. Two women who loved God, Elizabeth and Mary, were important to us, through which the most important event in the history of humankind was opened. First point Elizabeth and Mary, who loved God, dearly obeyed God in doing the most beautiful thing for humanity. As a true historian, Luke's gospel was thorough with detailed background information. At the time, many people recorded the gospel of Jesus Christ. As for Luke, he recorded Jesus' gospel in order to hand over to most excellent Theophilus. Luke started with the birth of John the Baptist. This began with the story of Elizabeth and Mary who both obeyed God. Elizabeth was an old woman who was also barren. However, God granted her pregnancy. God's angel also went to Mary to inform her that she was to give birth to Jesus Christ. All this was pre-told in the Bible as far back as the prophet Nathan. Your house and your kingdom will endure forever before me. Your throne will be established forever. The angel told the Virgin Mary that she would conceive and also told her about Elizabeth. The angel furthermore told Mary that there was nothing that the Lord could not do. After hearing this, Mary obeyed. Some time later, Mary and Elizabeth, who were cousins, met. Elizabeth blessed Mary and also called her the mother of her Lord to acknowledge and praise Jesus. Through Elizabeth, Mary once again praised God. In Luke chapters 1 and 2, many praises and worship are recorded. In chapter 1, Mary's song as well as Zachariah's song is recorded, and in chapter 2, the song of the angels and Simeon's song is recorded. Thus, Luke's gospel could be seen as a praise book. Mary's praise in particular reminds us of Hannah's praise in the Old Testament. Second point, John the Baptist, who was the son of a priest, lived not in the temple but in the desert. The story of Jesus' birth starts with the birth of John the Baptist. The Lord's angel appeared before Zechariah. Zechariah was a priest and he was working according to his duties. When God's angel appeared before him, the working shift of the priest was decided according to the casting lot method. And this was decided back in the days of Moses, when the angel told Zechariah that his wife Elizabeth would conceive. Zechariah declared that their prayers had been answered. Thus, John the Baptist was born from the prayers of his parents and was prepared by God. The directions God gave to his angel to deliver remind us of the laws of dedicating a large light. John the Baptist was the Elijah spoken by the prophet Malachi. The angel told Zechariah that John was to prepare for the birth of Jesus, whom God would send 400 years after the days of Malachi. However, Zechariah did not immediately believe this. Because of his doubt, Zechariah was muted, but this was more in order to give Zechariah faith. In due course, Elizabeth gave birth to a baby. The baby was circumcised on the eighth day, and his name was John, and was instructed by the angel. When news about John spread, all of Judea was curious about John. Zechariah praised God for helping him to remember his covenant with Abraham. Zechariah continued to praise God 
for the salvation Jesus Christ would bring. John the Baptist was sent to this world to prepare for the way of Jesus. Before Jesus came, John the Baptist ministered not in the temple but in the desert. Third point, the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem was predicted 800 years ago by the prophet Micah, which unraveled with the Roman Emperor's command. Luke chapter 2 records the birth of Jesus. At the time, due to the commands of the Roman Empire to take a census, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, as opposed to Nazareth. However, we remember that the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem was predicted in the Old Testament by the prophet Micah. Mary had to travel all the way to Bethlehem despite being days away from giving birth. And this was due to the words of Micah and also the regulations of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire at the time was interested in taking census in order to collect the exact amount of tax, especially from their conquered nations. Seen from the bigger picture, Jesus was born in Bethlehem in order to fulfill the words of Micah. The shepherds of Bethlehem were invited to praise Jesus. During the night, the angel of the Lord appeared before them to tell them this news. Being shepherds, they led very difficult lives, but God blessed them with this great news. They went to see Jesus and praised him. Fourth point, when Jesus came to this world, the Magi presented him with gifts. The Bethlehem shepherds praised him and Simeon offered a prayer of thanks to God. Jesus, who was born in Bethlehem, was circumcised according to the regulations of a kingdom of priests. After this, he was named Jesus as directed by God's angel. When the time came, Joseph and Mary headed towards the Jerusalem temple with Jesus in order to dedicate him to God. As such, Jesus was circumcised dedicated, and Mary and Joseph glorified God. Afterwards, Simeon's praise had its foundation in Isaiah's record from 800 years ago. Following on from Simeon, prophet Anna also met Jesus. Anna also confessed that Jesus was the Messiah. Fifth point, Luke records that Jesus observed the Passover with his family all during his youth. Luke recorded Jesus' youth. Matthew also recorded the story of Joseph and Mary, as well as the instance of Jesus having to flee to Egypt and then coming back to Judea before going to Nazareth. During this time, Jesus kept Passover with Mary and Joseph in the Jerusalem temple. Jesus listened to the teachers in the temple as well as questioning them. Jesus debated with them according to the rules of the Jews. All the people who heard Jesus' questions were amazed. Luke recorded that Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.